Amy told me that she went to the hospital because of labor pains. She was suffering a placental abruption. They flew her to our major hospital. One of the children died instantly, and the other one only lived for 20 to 30 minutes. Once again, her boyfriend was on a trip and was not notified until that following morning. Amy told me that she was so distraught that she ripped her IV out and took a $250 cab ride home. I was very skeptical of the story. Placental abruption is very serious. You can die. I don't know any hospital that would let someone that just suffered such a traumatic experience leave. Her boyfriend's parents planned a memorial service for the twins. They were gonna be in caskets. Two days before the service, Amy had the twins cremated. No one ever saw the bodies. Later, I saw pictures of their alleged children in the hospital. The pictures were very odd. There was different bedding in each picture. My alarms were going off. I had to get to the bottom of it. I called the ambulance bay. No ambulances were toned out to that house. I also called our local helipad. All flights were grounded due to the excessive wind that night. I went a step further and contacted the county coroner's office. They hadn't had twin deaths documented in years. With all the inconsistencies in her story, the family decided to confront her. A few days later, Amy packed her stuff and completely disappeared. Well, Courtney, thank you for being here. Why are you invested in this? I watched my good friends and family suffer a tremendous loss twice. And um, seeing someone go through something like that, I, I just, I knew that <clears throat> something had to be done. I didn't want her to try to do this to anybody else. So you saw people you cared about getting excited and celebrating yes, uh, and having baby showers and um, putting together nurseries and, and being thrilled to death. Absolutely. Um, this uh, and would then, have been first and then mourning what you believe to be make-believe babies. Absolutely. Nothing registered with you in the beginning. No, she did everything a normal person that was pregnant would do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, showed pictures, talked about how excited she was to be a mother again, and you know, everything seemed pretty normal.